Hey everybody, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the first part um, of my grocery haul. Everything just would not fit on this table. And this was just from my discount grocery store. So this is only the second time that I have ever shopped there. Um, my grandma introduced me to it and she told me about it. And some items are just an amazing great price um, and then sometimes you'll see items that you're like okay well when the store has a different store has it on sale I know I can get it cheaper but it's just I guess if you're willing to wait for that sale but I got some really great deals and guys half of this was probably free so I spent let me show you my receipt here it is right here $13.25 for this entire table full of items. Now, I am budgeting. Like, I'm really budgeting. And I'm probably just going to be shopping weekly, maybe bi-weekly. But I'm really going to be planning out our dinners. And, you know, just not buying unnecessary things just to have them around the house. So we are planning to go to Florida in June, so we're wanting to save for that, plus we need a new car um, just from another accident that I was in, so, yeah, yeah, um, and that was in October. So we've been using my grandma's van, but you know, it's just really going to be, we just really need to get a new family car. So we're saving, you know, and that whatever you're saving for. But I am tight budgeting. Not because we don't have the money, you know, or something like that. But I mean, who doesn't want to save, you know? So I'm going to go over these items and I'm going to have some other, this is not going to be it. So I'm going to have some more stores that I went to um, right after I show you these items. So. And yes, I took my grandma with me. You know, she just doesn't like to drive very much anymore. So I'm super excited. So let's just jump in here. So at the end, when you're all done shopping, so with our discount grocery store, grocery store it is $5 a year that you pay to be able to shop there. Um, this is not a food pantry. You do have to pay for these items. You know, you can clearly see my receipt right here. So I did have to pay for this, but at the end, they will always have items that you can grab for free and however many you want of those items. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to like go taking everything, but they always have a good amount and you always get to take as many free bread items as you want. So now I get to mark off hamburger buns and bread off of my Aldi list, so that is the awesome thing, and I never even knew we had one. So if you guys are, you know, maybe think you don't have one, you really may. So over here, I grabbed just these little containers of cereal. These were ten cents each, so I grabbed three. These ones were a little bit bigger, um, and I really like this because, you know. You can just put the cereal right in here. This is a quick breakfast for my kids in the morning or just a quick snack. Like I already opened this one up for my son because, you know, he was getting a little antsy. Um, so he was just snacking on these in there. So these were 10 cents each. I got three of the Apple Jacks and two of the Fruit Loops. This Kraft Creamy Ranch Dip was just 25 cents, so I grabbed just one of those. I probably should have grabbed another one, um, and yes, guys, I know I, I've been, my nails are picking off. I need to redo them. So 25 cents for that. I thought that was a great price. These, well, actually, I'm not going to show you the broccoli yet because I'll go over that in a moment. This family size of the chicken in a biscuit now, guys, you know these are pricey, and you cannot get them like under three dollars, sometimes even three ninety eight so I grabbed this um this is the twelve ounce, and I mean you know the box is a little dented, but it's totally fine, so there was two left. I grabbed one, and then I grabbed one for my grandma um and yeah, it was a dollar twenty five awesome price. I had these on my list at another store. Now I can mark them off my list because I got them for 50 cents less 
for each one. So this was a six pack. You get three of the ham um, Oscar Mayer Lunchables and three of the, what is that? The turkey and American cheese. And my kids, um, they purchase milk at school, so I don't even have to send a drink. So that's why these are perfect. Um, so yeah, you got six of them in here and this package was $3. So it made each Lunchable just 50 cents. Um, and where I was going to get them, they were going to be a dollar each. So glad to have that. This deluxe mac and cheese right here was 75 cents. I picked that up for my son. Um, right here, you have the lunch makers. This is the boxed ones. It's the turkey and American cheese, and you do get the drink in here. Um, so I grabbed three of these. You guys know I have three daughters. So these were 75 cents each. And then I grabbed these mini donuts right here, again, for just a little quick breakfast. You know, when we're running behind or I just don't feel like making breakfast. These were a dollar. These Be My Valentine Little Debbie Cakes. These will be great for my kids' as lunch. Um... Because I was going to grab some from Aldi anyway, and I would have paid probably like a dollar fifty at least. Uh, so I grabbed these. These were a dollar. I grabbed these the last time. You get 14 bags in here of the Quaker Rice Crisps. My kids love them. My son loves them. I love the caramel ones. But you get 14 bags in there. Um, seven of the cheddar, seven of the caramel. That was just $1.25, so I was glad to pick that up again. This big bag here of this family size chips. Um, yes, it's plain, but that was $1.50. They are the J's original um, ridges. So that was $1.50. Thought that was a good price for that big family size one. And then, as I said, all of the bread guys I got to pick for free. So these tortillas were free. I grabbed two packages of those. I'm not even sure how many are in each package. But I grabbed those even though we have our preference my kids, you know, are not really going to care. I browned up some hamburger, two pounds of hamburger meat yesterday that I needed to use. And I just made, um, put taco seasoning in there and just to have for, you know, my daughter came home from school yesterday, my daughter, that's a gymnast. And like I said, she's always eating. She had two tacos just for a snack after school. So, um, that's just, you know, so those were free. I grabbed these whole wheat bagels here. And this cottage bread. I absolutely love this cottage bread. I tried it last time when I went there. So, so good. Hamburger buns. Again, I had bread and hamburger buns on my Aldi list. I can mark those off. I love to have my deli sandwiches or roast beef sandwiches with any type of sub rolls. So I grabbed those Toronto rolls. This right here, I love French baguettes. Like, especially from um, Panera. So... I'm really hoping that my mom will make her kind of, um, I don't even know what you would call it, but she makes a soup that's like similar to a Panera. So look at this. They had this bag of these bread bowls, guys. I think there's five in here and, um, they're not like hard or anything yet. So I'm hoping that she'll make that soup and I love to dip these in there. So all that bread was free. Another freebie that they had today were these bags of broccoli. I grabbed eight bags of this broccoli. It's just the broccoli florets. They all look good still. And I can freeze some of it. We can have some um, with this ranch dip. I love that. And I actually might give some to my mom because I want her to make, um, she makes a really good broccoli and cheese casserole with Velveeta and Ritz crackers. So um, I grabbed eight bags of that, like I said. I think. I think that's eight bags. Yeah. So that is everything that I got at my discount grocery store. And guys, like I said, I spent $13.25. So that was amazing. Now let me show you um, everything else that I got in my grocery haul for this week from a couple other stores. All right. So now we are on to my Aldi haul. So I told you guys I'm just shopping for the week. Now, a couple of, you know, 
the bigger packs of things or the bigger containers of things obviously are going to last us longer than a week. Um, but that's okay. And at the end of the video, I will show you guys my entire meal plan that I have planned for the entire week of for next week, Monday through Sunday. Um, there's a couple days that we're going to have leftovers and then there's a couple days that we either are going somewhere and we're going out to dinner with people, but I told you guys, I am staying on a strict budget. I grabbed a couple things and I put them back because I'm like, nope, we don't need it. We just don't need it. So I am really staying on my strict budget, um, which is very hard for me, but we're going to do this, okay? So this haul, I spent... $35.67 before tax. Okay, let me show you guys what I went ahead and got. I grabbed these bananas right here. Those were 43 cents a pound. Um, so those were 69 cents for this six bunch of bananas. I grabbed these cracker sticks with the cheese. My five-year-old loves to have these just for a snack, and sometimes we will put them in the kids' lunches. My kids have to take their lunch every day. They go to a private school. Um, they do not offer hot lunch there. They do get to purchase um, milk for the year, chocolate or white, but they do not have um, hot lunch, so they take their lunches every day. My husband takes his lunch every day. Sometimes then he has to, he always has to have a second meal just in case he has to work another shift. But I grabbed the original applesauce. Now we still have quite a bit of um, yogurt, so we do still have those. So I wasn't getting a ton. So I grabbed this six pack of the original applesauce again for their lunches, and that was a dollar and seventy nine cents. My husband needed light corn syrup for a honey mustard sauce that he makes. Monday, he is making his famous Aussie chicken. So he makes um, a nice uh, honey mustard to go with that. I did not need this big 32 ounce bottle of it. That's way more than he is going to need. That's the only size they had, so that is what I grabbed. It was $2.99, but that will last us a while. I picked up the Nutrigrain bars there in the strawberry ones, so those were $1.35. I grabbed uh, one of these pasta, the sh white shells and cheddar, just one because we have one box already, but we are a family of six, so... Whenever I make those, one box is not enough. I have to make two boxes at once, usually of everything. Um, so I just picked one of those up, and we might be having that as a side on Monday with the chicken. I'm not sure what my husband's going to want, but that will probably be one of the sides because he's cooking that day. So those were 89, that was 89 cents for that box. Then I grabbed two of the, um, Shells and cheese here. These are really good. I swear they taste good. They're not like, they don't taste terrible. They're $1.29. I picked up two of those. One day next week, we're going to be having tuna and noodles because Lent starts for us next week. Um, so Ash Wednesday, we won't be able to eat meat. And Fridays from then on out, we won't be able to eat meat until after um, Easter on Fridays. So I grabbed three of the Mama Cozy's pizzas. We'll be having that next Friday. These were $2.19 each. Whenever we do these pizzas at home, I have to cook three of them. So my kids eat a lot. <laughs> um, so I grabbed three cheese. And then you guys know my son has to have the almond milk because he is lactose intolerant. I grabbed two of the almond vanillas. And then I grabbed one of the chocolate. I don't grab that very often. It's really once in a blue moon for him. Just for a little different flavor. A nice little treat for him. So those were each $2.39. Um, and one of those cartons will last him two days. So that'll be six days worth of... Um, 
almond milk. Um, he actually only has a little bit left in his container. So I will have to get uh, probably two more of those before the end of next week. So, um, and then I grabbed, like I said, we have like strawberry and strawberry banana. We have some peach and cherry still. Um, so I just grabbed two of these light yogurts, these vanilla yogurts. They were 32 cents each. My kids will take those in their lunch or they'll have them for a snack at home. I grabbed the cream cheese spread. Yes, I know um, it's a better deal to get the block, but it's easier for my kids when they're making bagels themselves. Um, when they wake up super early on Saturday mornings. So I grabbed that. It was $1.99. I know I can get the block for like $1.29. And I do get the block every once in a while, but... That's just easier for them. I grabbed the plain bagels. You guys saw um, earlier I showed you the other bagels. I will eat those. They'll eat the plain or the blueberry. So I grabbed the bagels and those were, um, how much were those? $1.99. I grabbed two of the Chunky, um, this is the Aldi brand, the Chunky Chicken Noodle Soups. So I grabbed two of those. My eight-year-old, she really likes those. And, you know, she'll have those for like a lunch on the weekend or a day that they don't have school. So those were each $1.39. I grabbed two of the Brookdale Original Chili with Beans. So my husband will take one one day for lunch, and I'll have one throughout the week um, for myself for lunch. And then I just grabbed one of these pasta rings with the meatballs and the tomato sauce for my son. So that will probably be like, I don't know, three or four meals for him throughout the week. You know, he'll alternate between lunch and dinner. Um, you know, he's just a year old, so... He doesn't need eat a whole lot, but that was my Aldi haul. So, you know, I have another haul after this, a couple other stores. So I'm fitting them all into this video, but this is my, you know, for my week. So for our dinners and stuff like that. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to our next store. I forgot. I totally forgot to show you guys my receipt. Um, here is my receipt of everything that I purchased at Aldi. And here is the amount, $35.67 before tax. All right, so I have my last three stores. And guys, I'm going to tell you, I tried so hard to just shop for one week, but... The sales, some of the sales were just too good to pass up on for sales going on, um, like, from last week and a little bit of this week. So I did end up getting stuff for dinners um, and lunch for next week as well. So next week I will only have to, for next week's food items, I will only have to pick up a few items. And once I am done, I will share the total of everything, all the stores that I got items from. Um, but like I said, it's going to be basically for like two weeks worth. I'm only going to have a couple things to pick up for next week's meals. So let me go ahead and go over here. The, um, this store here on this side is going to be from our Tony's grocery store. Um, I want to say, I don't know if they are a Kroger affiliate as well. I'm not, I can't be certain, but nonetheless, now I told you guys, um, we are Catholic in our house, so we are going to be starting Lent. And tomorrow, which is Tuesday, because I'm finishing up my grocery haul now on Monday, because my daughter had her competition for gymnastics yesterday, so I did not do any shopping, and then I had to work in the evening. So tomorrow, which is Tuesday, is Fat Tuesday. That is what it's called. So it's kind of like you, you know, 
eat a lot of, you know, things that are not so great for you on Tuesday and then Ash Wednesday is Wednesday and that starts our Lent. So we will not be eating meat this Wednesday and every Friday from here on out until Easter. So they had these punch keys, which are just filled donuts. Um, you could make your own cartons here. And I just grabbed six of them for us in our household since we are a family of six. And they were 99 cents. So for the whole pack here, it was $5.94. For all six of these, so yes, I did splurge just so we can have those for breakfast tomorrow. They had butterball um, oven roasted turkey breast for $4.99 a pound. I grabbed a pound of that um, for the kids' lunches, hubby's lunch, me, whatever. My five-year-old daughter loves lemons. She loves anything lemon. Her favorite color is yellow. So I grabbed these. She loves to have cut up lemon in her water, which is great. I mean, that's great for you, so I'm all for it. They had those four for a dollar, so I grabbed four of those. I grabbed five of these Pepsis here for my husband and I. They were 99 cents a two liter. And you had to buy five, so that's why I got five. I grabbed these chicken legs here, a giant bag. I will split this up and this will be two meals for us. Um, these were 59 cents a pound. And I put it in this just so it, you know, sometimes there's like juice in that. But I mean, these are really good size chicken legs see how massive these are and yeah I will split this up usually and this will be two meals so they were 59 cents a pound I paid five dollars and ten cents for this big bag I mean there's a lot in this bag you know some are hidden in the center so you can't see them all but that was it for my Tony's grocery haul um so what was my total for that? $22.03 was my total for all that. I know it doesn't seem like a lot. You know, like I said, I did splurge a little bit on this. But, I mean, this is going to be lunches for this week. And that is two dinners right there. So, we are going to be having chicken legs for dinner next week. And then we'll still even have some for, um, you know, another meal the following week. So, that was that store. Um, the next store is Jewel, and like I said, they had some really good sales going on. So I grabbed this one-pound bag of carrots for $0.25. Cents. I thought the baby carrots were included, and they were not, so I will still have to get that for roast for the following week. These chicken breasts here were $1.99 a pound. My husband is making these tonight. He's going to have them. Um, so we will have six total. He's making his famous Aussie chicken. So good. Um, so $1.99 a pound, it was $6.69. So we will have leftovers of this for sure. Um, the Frigo cheese heads, the kids like to have these for a snack. I like them as well. And they will go in their lunches. And there, this is a big bag here. It's the one pound and eight ounce. These were $5.99. Frigo is our favorite. Yes, I know we can get a cheaper brand, but these are our favorite. I did use eight, so they were $5.99. I used a 75 cent printable off of coupons.com. So what, that brought it down to basically around $5.24. But this will probably last close to two weeks. So good deal on that. And then I am going to be making one day this week a barbecue pulled pork, so I use these whole pork tenderloins for that, and I do it in the crock pot. These were $1.99 a pound, so I did grab two of them, um, you know, so we have leftovers. I like to put both of them in there, and so for one of them, it was $2.45, and the other one was $2.27, so great deal on those. The Their store brand, which is the Signature Select boxes of pasta, were on sale for $0.50. Cents. I grabbed one of the large elbow macaroni and one of the masacholi. So $0.50 cents each for that was a great deal. See, that's what I'm saying, like the carrots, you know, those, that was, they were just deals that I couldn't pass up. I grabbed three of the goldfish, again, for lunches or a snack. So, they were a dollar each, so I grabbed three of those. And that is it for Jewel.
So my total um, for Jewel was... $20.90 about. I had to subtract the tax, but here's my receipt for that um, with tax. It was $21.28. And here's my receipt from Tony's. Um, you can see there, $22.03. So that was my jewel. And then over here in my um, Food for Less, which is like our Kroger affiliate store, I did grab this snack pack here. My husband loves the butterscotch, so he'll take this in his lunches. These were on sale 10 for 10, so I just grabbed one, so it was a dollar. The Corn King bacon was two for five. I grabbed one. It was $2.50. Um, he's going to be using this in his Aussie chicken, so we needed that. This is going to be a side for one of our dinners next week. Pasta sides, the Nor pasta sides, two of the Alfredo. They were a dollar a piece. Remember I said we always have to cook two like pasta things of everything for our family. Um, the Bumblebee Chunk Light Tuna, we get the one in the water. So these were 59 cents each. I grabbed six of those. Great price on those. We are going to be using these on Wednesday. We're going to be having some tuna and noodle casserole with some biscuits and butter. Um, and then I grabbed extra because we will have those for lunch a couple days. Um, I'll just make up some tuna with some uh, mayonnaise and we'll have tuna sandwiches. And then I grabbed one of the Kroger cottage cheese, a small curd. This is the one pound. They were on sale 10 for 10, so I grabbed one of those, which was a dollar. Same for the sour cream. I grabbed one of those for a dollar. Um, this we are going to be having in a dinner next week, next Friday, since we can't eat meat. And then the sour cream, I'm not exactly sure. We might just have it for around the house, or I might put it in a dinner. And then I grabbed this big thing, five pound package of the ground beef. So this will be cut up and split up, frozen. Um, I do have it on the list for a meal for next week, but the other we will just, it'll be for, you know, following weeks. So that was $1.99 a pound. So we got the five pound tube. It was $9.95. So that will last a while for a lot of different meals and then I this I could not pass up on the um what is this the heritage farm 10 pound bag of potatoes they were on sale for a dollar 99 I have some baked potatoes and meals for next week um a roast also so those will be going to use plus we will have plenty of leftovers for other meals so for the Kroger um it was about $22 and some change, $23.38 with tax. So that was the end of my grocery haul. I, um, what? I will have to grab, like I said, a couple things next week for dinners, but it really is not going to be a whole lot. Some of that bread I froze, hamburger buns I froze, um, you know, that I showed you earlier in the previous hauls. So let me show you the total for all of our grocery shopping. And guys, like I said, this is going to basically be for two weeks, not just one week. All right, so here we have our totals for Aldi, $35.65. Food for Less, $22.98. That's my Kroger affiliate. Discount Grocery Store, $13.25. Tony's $22.03 and Jewel was $20.98. That comes to a total of $114.91. I did get a couple things. I did splurge on a couple things that I did not absolutely need to, um, but that is just what I chose to do. So, Again, this is for two weeks. Now, I will have a couple more things to grab, like some milk. Um, I do need to get just some garlic bread, a couple little odds and end things. Not a whole lot, and I will show you guys what I end up grabbing for that um, next week. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you our meal plan for this week and next week. 
So, Monday here for today, we are having Aussie chicken, mashed potatoes, and white shells and cheese. Tomorrow, um, we actually have a confirmation to go to, so we're all going out to dinner to Red Lobster for that, so I don't need dinner for that day. Wednesday, we're going to have tuna and noodles casserole with biscuits. Thursday, we are going to have barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. I'm going to do that in the crock pot. And then we're going to either have steak fries or tater tots along with that. Fries day. Fries day. <laughs> Friday, we're going to have our cheese pizzas because we can't eat meat. Uh, Saturday, we are going to be out of town for a birthday party. Um, and we're going to be staying overnight. So they are providing dinner for that. Sunday, we are going to be having leftovers. That is already March 1st, so leftovers that day. And then Monday the 2nd, we are going to be having cheddar cheese melt, hamburger helper, and French bread. Uh, Tuesday the 3rd, we're going to have chicken legs, mashed or baked potatoes, and Alfredo noodles, those Nor pasta side noodles that I showed you. Wednesday, March 4th, we are going to have a uh, homemade chicken pot pie and either biscuits or crescent rolls. I have not decided yet. Thursday the 5th, we're going to have leftovers. Friday the 6th, we are going to have a meatless ravioli, cheese ravioli, casserole, and garlic bread. The Saturday the 7th, we're going to have roast potatoes and carrots. And then Sunday the 8th, we are going to have leftovers. Um, if I feel like we don't have enough leftovers up here for this week, for Sunday, in between there, I may make um, like half a pound of some meat and do like a... Um, just a really quick and easy masticoli just to have some extra because um, we don't have a whole lot going on here but we will definitely have um, leftovers from the pulled pork and the chicken so we should be good but you know sometimes my kids just like a you know extra snack or something I don't even know but Anyway, that is it. So that was my grocery haul and our meal plan for the next two weeks. I'll put my small little itty grocery haul up next week. It's really not going to be much, guys, at all. But, you know, my son has to have his um, almond milk, so he goes through quite a bit. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads or giveaways or any of my deals that I hurry up and find and upload for you guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Um, my, If you are here like for my couponing videos and that, uh, it's going to be a little bit behind, maybe a day or two behind this week of me getting my videos up because we had a lot going on yesterday with my daughter's competition. So quite behind with that, but we're going to catch up. Anyway, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.